Hi everybody. Welcome to Desilicious Kitchen. Today we are going to see how to make unniyappam. Unniyappam is a traditional sweet from Kerala. It's a very delicious sweet. I'm sure you all are going to enjoy watching this recipe now and then making it and eating it. So let's see what goes into making unniyappam. 3 cups raw rice do not use basmati chawal or any other chawal use raw rice 500 grams or 3 cups jaggery or gourd 260 grams or 2 medium sized regular bananas traditionally palayan godi banana is used in kerala but we have used the regular bananas as this is what we get here in mumbai the chopped bananas weighed 250 grams 1 teaspoon cardamom powder or elaichi we have ground the cardamom with sugar that is why the white color in the powder 2 tablespoon ghee for frying the sliced coconuts and ghee or oil to fry appams 1/4 cup sliced coconut pieces a total 1 cup water is what we have taken 3/4 cup for jaggery syrup and 1/4 for grinding the rice salt to taste Wash and soak the rice in water for at least seven hours. After seven hours or more, drain the water from the rice and grind, adding very little water. We needed to add only one fourth cup water for grinding three cups of rice. The batter should be grainy and not very smooth. This ensures good texture for appam. add the chopped bananas to the ground rice mm. and again grind it along with the batter now after grinding the bananas this is how the batter looks add 3/4 cup water to the jaggery we have taken 3 cups jaggery and we have added 3/4 cup water So for one cup jaggery, it comes to one fourth cup water. Now heat the jaggery and water mixture. The jaggery will melt slowly, but we have to watch for the consistency of the jaggery syrup. This is very very important. Mm. We don't need the soft ball consistency, but it shouldn't be too watery. As soon as it starts becoming sticky and syrupy, we have to do our test to see. the test is add one drop of water to a bowl, one drop of jaggery to a bowl of water if it does not dissolve but before it forms soft ball you have to switch off the flame now add the batter to the jaggery or batter is ready mm. add cardamom powder now add in the salt mix well and close the batter and let it ferment for at least 7 or 8 hours now after 8 hours take the 1/4 cup sliced uh, coconuts and fry them in ghee for this heat ghee in a pan fry the sliced coconuts until they turn golden brown keep stirring now add the fried coconut pieces to the batter mm. this is the appam pan add 1 tablespoon ghee into each of the slots you can also use coconut oil but we prefer to use ghee ours is an iron pan now pour the batter into each slot make sure that the oil or ghee that you are using is hot before you pour it but keep the flame medium while pouring the batter
Let the batter cook. Slowly flip it to the other side and let it cook on the other side too. Flip each appam this way and let it cook on the other side now for less than a minute or so. Make the rest of the appams this way. See now all our appams are done and we got 63 appams now. For the proportion that we have taken, we got 63 appams. The appams are looking yummy and they are so soft. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. If you did, do not forget to subscribe, share, comment. See you with another video soon. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for notifications. Thank you.